What's good? What's going on, everybody? You already know who this is. And it's definitely your favorite soul for child. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Shark coming back at you once again. And the utmost higher self, Amari, at the PEG podcast, y'all. Not just the podcast that brings inspiration, but the podcast that brings fire with artists of the week. Not only inspiration, like I said, but motivation speakers, artists, um, authors, public figures around the world that's sharing their experience to let you know that you're not alone, okay? So many of us think that we are alone right now. We still think that we're alone. So the PG podcast is here for you to continue to prove to you that you are not alone, all right? We're always uplifting one another here. We're always giving each other our flowers, their flowers while we're here. And we're just impacting another person to go ahead and be that positive light to the next person because we know that um energy is transferable okay energy is transferable and when you think like that when you understand that you start to see that everything you do runs off energy whether it's good or positive energy can't determine between good and positive but whether it's good or positive um or good or negative positive or negative the energy will pass on to the next one all right so thank you you guys for tapping in with us at the PG podcast once again. And hey, we're gonna come in, jump in, and give you the lesson for today, the session for today. All right. Now, the session for today that we're gonna be talking about is stop running from you. All right. The biggest thing is life that we feel that so many people is the reason why we're not where we need to be. All right. But that's not true. You are the biggest reason why you are not where you exactly want to be today. And I'm going to give you five ways to face yourself right here, right now. So you want to tune in. Look, definitely go get your coffee. Go get your wine. Go get your your your, your uh, smell goods. You know what I'm saying? Go get go get that ease your mind cookie today. Whatever you decide to go get that's going to help you relax and tap into the five ways that's going to help you not only face yourself, but understand yourself. These are ways that Char herself and her utmost higher self continue to use these ways because because when we're looking at the spirit, when we're looking to um, continue to heal, we're washing our soul. All right, we're washing our soul every day. We have to take that wash. All right, so before we get started, Make sure wherever you guys are tapping into the PG podcast right now, whether you're looking at it or watching this, tapping in with us on YouTube, whether you're tapping in with us, um, whether you're tapping in with us on YouTube or whether you're tapping in with us um, from um, iHeartRadio, Spotify, Google Play, go press the follow button, subscribe right now and get tapped in when there's updates on to the podcast all right so before we get started and get a tap into that ways five ways to face yourself we're going to pray yes i do highly truly believe in prayer and i feel that faith work faith without no work is crazy and work without faith is crazy you need both faith and work to be as successful as you want to be all right so if you guys do not mind taking this moment of prayer with me in whatever you believe in. I believe in the most high, Jah. Ja. All right, God, Jesus Christ, I believe in the most high. But if you say that you are your most high, look, I'm not going to hurt you, player. I'm not going to say this is the wrong podcast to tap into. What I'm going to say is you just feel the name of your person or whoever or you that you pray to. I pray to the universe. So, hey, I feel like the creator is here is watching us. So let's dive in. We're going to open up with a prayer and we're going to Go ahead and give you five ways of how to actually face yourself, okay? All right, make sure you guys press that follow and subscribe button. And I appreciate everyone that's tapping in right now at the PEG podcast, Positive Energy Generations Around the World. All right, so if you don't mind taking this moment of silence, let's get it. Father God, we come to you as humble. We know how just saying thank you. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for this platform. Thank you for all the listeners. Thank you for all the souls. And thank you for all the inspirations and motivationals around the world that's tapping in 
not only to get motivation, but to seek motivation so that it can also be given to the next person. Father God, we just want to continue to say thank you, continue to uplift one another while we're still here, giving each other our flowers, their flowers while we're still here, because tomorrow is not promised. We want to just say thank you, and we're humbly, gracefully, humbly and gracefully let's say like that we're humbly and gracefully um appreciative for everything and even just the birds outside in the morning and uh, to be able to connect with one another again all right continue to say thank you and we appreciate you in the most high name we pray john amen all right amen so I'm glad you guys are able to tap into the PG podcast, positive energy generations around the world. No matter what generation you're in, I do truly feel that we have room to be positive. Um, I feel like there's so much negative in the world that positivity has been overlooked. But there's so many people like myself that is pushing positivity because energy, I'm going to always say, is transferable. And without energy, mm, it's, it's, it's literally kind of crazy to think that you can have a productive day without energy at all. Everything moves through energy. All right. So I want to be able to help you guys on any journey that you have. And I am sharing five ways to face yourself. All right. Because when you're looking to be more positive and right, to put positive out in the world, to change your world for more positivity in an environment. All right. To be able to give those type of abundance out, you have to start within yourself. I right, stop running from you. And most people focus on the people that they're around. All right. They can definitely give advice better than they could take advice. All right. Excuse me. And that shouldn't be. Excuse me. There's so many people that has wise words but can't take wisdom. They have wise words but can't take wisdom. So as we dive in, I want you to only focus about yourself. Not about the person down the street, not about your baby daddy, your baby mama, your sister, your brother, your uncle, auntie. I want you to think about you because before you can start impacting and changing other people's lives, you have to start within yourself and you have to start running for yourself. So let's dive into the five ways to face yourself. All right. The first way that Shar constantly wash and heal her soul into facing herself is to humble thou self to seek grace. Mm. Humble thyself to seek grace. You are needed in this world. It's too, like, again, too many things going on in the world. Too many people are dying. Too many people are suffering. Too many negativity in the world. All right. We, we, we definitely can agree that in the past um, year, 2020, going into 21, that it has taught us that his life is too short. And there's so much negativity going on in the world that we're all being distracted by the now. And what people don't want to realize, the ones that honestly chase the money, but not really chase the um, grace and humbleness and um, inspiration and how to impact, the ones that don't do that, all right? If you chase the money and you're out here trying to empower someone, they'll never go right because empowerment comes within you, not within the money. Change starts with you, not within the money. Money can help push change, but change cannot start until you decide to make it change. All right. So you have to humble thyself. The places that you're trying to go is unbelievable. The places that you're putting steps to do is unbelievable because maybe your family has never reached those high levels before. We have to be humble. All right. We have to be humble. And it's crazy because you see so many people that at one time hit wonder or you see people that 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 win that big lotto and then go broke the next day because they didn't was they wasn't humble. So you must humble thyself because you are needed. We need to stop feeling like we're not needed in this world. You're put in this world to give back. And whatever your ability is, you have to go find it. This life is about trial and error. Right? The greatest billionaire trillionaire that you know or you, you, know, you don't know right now is creating and those creative thoughts, those creative plans and blueprints and structures all of those are by trial and error. The more experience you add on to it, the more value you can put onto the skill that you have. So you must humble thyself and understand that you are needed in this world. Someone is waiting on you to tell your story. 
Literally, someone is waiting on you to tell your story. All right. Like if I did not start PG podcast and start not only telling my story, but reaching out to those around the world for them to tell their stories, share their stories, share their journey. Have you guys who not even known so much things that not only Shara been through, but y'all wouldn't even understand the process of PG podcast. You wouldn't even have seen the growth of the podcast. You wouldn't even see so many people and family that has already touched and been a part of. Someone is waiting on you. This platform is now touching thousands of artists around the world, thousands of public figures around the world. All right, not only just public figures, but inspirational people. It's the word. Inspirational people around the world that's really making a way. Who would have known? Just for something I was going through, all right? Depression, anxiety. And someone told me the biggest advice, depression is in the past. Depression is when you're living in the past. Anxiety is when you're living in the future. What I mean is so many of us are focused on the past and so many of us are focused on the future, but we're not focused on the present now. The things that you get paid for is not the things that you are doing right now. You don't get paid for the things that you're doing right now. You're getting paid for the things you put in 10 years down the line before, um, five years ago, seven years ago. That's what you're getting paid for. The things you're doing right now is gonna pay for the things that you're going to do in the future. So if you never learn from those mistakes, you never um, learn from the mistakes and you don't start humbling yourself to understand the growth of those mistakes, how you understand that someone again is out there ready for you to tell your story? How are you going to be ready to tell your story? Um, to this day, it took me a minute all right, to be able to explain to people what I do. I'm not afraid to say it. I, I am so gracefully and humbly just excited to be able to do what I do. I not only do start, not only give advice and, and, and connect and share positive energy with so many generations around the world all right, on the PhD podcast, but also been able to be a part of Trenton State Academy, which is not only a Forex Academy, but it's an academy that teaches you how to master your mind by mastering your inner self, how mastering the market comes into play by mastering your inner self. All right, I would have never known some of the things that I know now that I was uh, that was bypassing this life. I was bypassing in my trading plan. Now, mind you guys, being part of trading for a minute and being able to teach and educate so many people around the world and, and, and build a platform that be able to reach out to these people and break it down to the simple form is unbelievable. Starting off doing this was not easy, all right? Yeah, now thousands of people are listening. Thousands of people are joining the academy and changing their lives and just understanding how to master their mind to master the market. Not saying if you join right now, you're going to get rich quick. Because honestly, in Church of State Academy, we do not care if you get rich quick. We do not care at all if you don't make a dime. What we care about if you are educated, if you if you can literally look at the chart and have confidence. So many people are looking at things happening in the world and they're watching and it's supposed to be a part of it. Stop watching and go be a part of it. You are needed in this world, all right? And I'm so proud of what PG Podcast is today, all right? Because thousands of people, thousands of family and generations are connected to that positive energy. I'm so proud to be a part of Trenton State Academy, to be an educator, not only an educator, but a mentor, a psychologist, all right? And a Forex educator uh, onto the platform that, that creates an environment to not only be your educator, but be your friend to show you that you can do it. You can make money by learning a skill that's going to teach you discipline and structure, all right? So when you're doing those things and you start to go on those journey, I could have told you in the beginning, this is what I was going to be doing. I would have definitely, I would have never known anything if you had have told me, hey, so you're going to be doing podcasts, you're going to be inspiring people around the world, you'll be speaking, you're going to be teaching, you're going to be educating. I would have told you you was crazy. Why? Because I'm an introvert. I really don't talk to people. But I saw things within myself along the way in my journey. Even in the military, people tell me that you, I'm a leader. I, you inspire people. People watch you. People want to do the things that you do. People want to be up under your leadership. So I took that 
to find myself on the outside of the world because depression is living in the past and anxiety is living in the future. So now it was time for me to be present in the present moment. All right. So you got to keep going. Your grind may not be seen right now, but I promise you we appreciate it. You got to keep grind. Somebody is waiting on you right now. So you got to continue to be humble. All right. The second way that I'm going to give you that you can use to face yourself is to forgive and face our inner child life. Say it one time. To forgive and face our inner child's life. Why? Because what we don't understand why we have so much problems in life and not really understanding where we are, all right, where some of us are feeling stagnant, some of us are feeling self-doubt, selfless, is because we're, 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 we're facing child, inner childhood things, all right? We used to be children with a free imagination to create. And as we grew up into the adult world and started to take responsibilities in this world, in this world, all right? Start stepping up to the plate to help family members, to help our family, to actually make a name, a place, and a family that you build within yourself. You start to lose that creativity. We start to lose that inner child, all right? Some of us never actually heal from the things that have been done to us as children. We blame ourselves. But when we was children, it was already written. I love to say maktu. Maktu means it's already written. Nothing that you could have done and nothing could have done, been done any differently if you still was not a child. It was meant for you to be a child in that position. Yes, some of us go through really, really messed up situations. Some of us probably been a part of, um, um, some of us have been part of, part of women trafficking, all right? And as you heard on this podcast, we had a, a guest speaker to get on. Uh, not only just a guest speaker, but a powerful woman to get on by the name of Kiana David. Shout out to Kiana David. But she spoke of how some children are being trafficking and we don't even know that they're being trafficking. Some of them go to school and sit in class every day and they have to go home and be trafficked, all right? Because of their family, because of their father and mother mistakes or guardian mistakes. That doesn't make them any less of a person. That doesn't make them a bad child. It should bring fire to them to, to come want to go and impact other people when they get older by making it out. I don't know what it feels like to be trafficking as a child, but I'm pretty sure that's hard. Some of us has been molested. Some of us have been raped. Some of us have been beat as kids. Some of us has, has been burnt as kids. Some of us has been abused as kids, all right? And some of us has had nothing happen to us as a child. We had rainbows, sunshines, and unicorn. And still, those are the ones that are the most ungrateful. So it doesn't matter what your situation started in. It's how you ended it. Some of us get stuck in how life is given to us, but don't face that this was given to us as a child. As we grow and learn in each phase of our life, we have an opportunity to change that. So you gotta learn how to face and forgive the inner child life within you, all right? No, I have not had the greatest childhood. And that thing is that happened to me in my life that it took me a while to heal, you guys. It took me a while to heal. I am a black female woman, grew up in Mississippi, Louisiana, all right, grew up in the, in the South as a black child. The things that could have been talked about are not talked about. Like I told you, some of us has been raped, some of us has been molested as kids, and it doesn't make us a bad person. It's all about what you're going to do about it. There's two type of people in this world. It's the one that has the right to do right and the ones that has the ability to do wrong. We all has the right to ability to do right and wrong. You have to choose which one you're going to reflect, which one is going to be the real you, all right? The authenticity of it, all right? So face and forgive our inner child life because this is what we started off at, but it's not what we have to accept and end off in, okay? All right, every moment, <laughs> And life was already meant for you. Again, we go back to Maktu. It's already written. It's already was meant for you. Nothing you can do can change what is already to be done. All right. 
failure is supposed to happen. Some of us are fighting real hard to not fall. Some of us are not even trying to go for that goal or their dream, that passion, because we're scared that we're going to fail. If you fail, just get back up and do it again. Put 10 years behind it. I realize some of us are not even putting 10 years behind it. All right, being honest, as an African-American in the Black culture, Black people do not put 100% behind anything past two years. They would go to school for four years to get nothing out of that degree and still and still be dedicated to that job, but you tell them something different of how to work and get money, they are gonna, I'm telling you, they'll be the first one to call you a scam. They'll be the first one to say it's not gonna work. Why? Because you didn't, they didn't put 10 years behind it. They wanted to work right now. If you show me your work, I wanna see it and I'll join your business if it works. Look, if you are one of those people that know family members that don't wanna join your business because they wanna see your results first, look, move on to the next person. You are value, and someone is waiting for your service right now. That's serious. All right? That's serious. Stop waiting for your family members to join your business or be proud of you. They're probably going to never join your business or probably never going to be proud of you. You need to be proud of you. That's that inner child. An inner child needs validations to be proud. You do not need validation to be proud of yourself. If you set a goal and you smash that goal, no matter if it took you 10 years to get it, be proud of yourself. If it took you two years or two days to do it, be proud of yourself. You have to be your biggest fan, all right? Failure is supposed to happen. That's how we learn. This is where the beast is made. This is where the jungle starts to rumble just a little bit. It starts to test your faith, all right? This is where you are supposed to explode and be the brightest person you're supposed to be, all right? Motivation is you. Motivation starts with me, all right? Motivation, me. Excuse me, if I do not go motivate myself, I won't be motivated. People empower other people. People inspire other people. You motivate yourself, all right? So go surround yourself with people that inspires you so you can motivate yourself. It's called that fuel. You need gas to push yourself, all right? You need that fuel, that burning desire, that beast that's being made. Our right? energy is transferable. No matter it's good or bad, energy is transferable. And that's why this was called the PEG podcast, Positive Energy Generation. So not only we can understand energy, but face ourselves. Some of you guys got to stop running. It's time to stop running and it's time to make a change. All right. So let's go into the third way that you can face yourself. All right. The third way is authenticity. Authenticity. Why did I choose authenticity? You have to be yourself. Be yourself. Be you. Don't be scared to be yourself because everybody else is taking. Guess what? Sure, it's taking. You can't be me. It's only one me. All right? You got to be yourself. That what gives you flavor. That's what makes you different from anybody else. All right? But all the go-getters and all the podcasters out there, they got something different to bring to the table. Some bring in health and women coaching. Some bring in um, feminine products. Some bring in awareness to females, period. Some bring in entertainment to the um, music industry. Some bring in um, culture differences. It doesn't matter. Some bring in gaming. It doesn't matter. Bring your flavor and be you. Be you. I want to see you guys be yourself unapologetically. I don't want to see you be anyone else. Be yourself. Being you is so dope. <laughs> I'm dope. Being Shar is dope. Being you is dope. Being PEG is dope. Because it's only one. It's only one you. So you got to be able to give your flavor and give your sauce the best way you can give it and be unapologetically about it. All right. Surround yourself with the best you. Surround yourself with the best you and those who's going to help you and push you along the way. If you got to let some childhood friends go, childhood family go, let them go. If they don't pay your bills, they don't call you every week, at least one time a week. They don't call to check up on you. They don't even tell you happy birthday. They may tell you happy birthday every now and then. And if you got that cousin or that sister or brother that tell you happy birthday only on your birthday, but don't say, hey, how you doing? And you're alive this morning. Look, let it go. It, it doesn't matter. You matter. 
Your feelings matter. Your energy matter because it's transferable. And what you put out in the world, you will get it back. All right. So make sure you guys are out here putting out that positive energy, inspiring people. And look, if you are having a negative day, it's okay. It's okay to be negative. Just tune in to the PG podcast playing on all hot radio and on all platforms, including YouTube, everywhere. And you will get pumped up. Pump me up, coach. Put me in the game, coach. It's time to get in. All right. So the fourth way that you can continue to bring value and face yourself is to believe. And I know it's pretty cliche, right? But now you got to believe, man. How you have positive energy if you don't believe in whatever desire and vision you're going for? You got to believe. You are your biggest fan. Right now, I'm your biggest fan. PEG Podcast, your biggest fan. So now you got to outdo us and, uh, and the whole team behind the grind. You got to outdo us. We all believe you believe in you more than you believe in you. And that's just can't be. You got to be your biggest fan, all right? You will face negativity. How I know? You can wake up in the morning time and stomp your toe right out the bed and boom, negativity. What are you going to do? For all you people that have had that happen to you, what did you do when you stepped out of bed and you stomped your toe, whether on the edge of the bed or something right there, coffee table or on the table? All right, if your bed and your coffee table is right there, hey, I'm not judging. All right, maybe it's in one bedroom apartment. Yeah, you know, shout out to Mama Duke. You know what I'm saying? We'll, you know, uh, that's an inside joke. <laughs> but uh, yeah, real talk. If that's happened to you, how did you get your energy back? Did you go all day mad because you stumped your toe? Did you go in traffic cussing out everybody in traffic knowing that this is rush hour and this is where everybody get up and go in the morning time and you probably was five to ten minutes late for work anyway. Did you start to blame everything that went wrong because you stumped your toe? I don't know. Hmm? Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. All right. Let me know. Reach out to me. Let me know. But I just a question that I want to know because Sometimes these type of things affect your energy. Have you ever woke up in the morning, got a bad text or a text that you wasn't looking forward to, and it just ruined your whole day? If that was you, raise your hand. I've had that happen. We all had. That's how I let you know that it's okay. You got to believe in you. You have to believe in you. And you have to understand you will have negative days, but you're guided. You're guided by the most high. So you're supposed to fail, all right? Don't get stuck in passing your opportunity. Some of us are getting stuck in passing the opportunity because we're looking at our age and when it didn't happen. It was supposed to happen five years ago. It was supposed to happen two years ago. No, you're thinking about it because it's supposed to happen right now. It's supposed to happen right now. You're thinking about it because it's supposed to happen right now. Go do it. Go get it. You're scared. Just admit it. All right, you're scared, but don't get stuck in passing your opportunity. All right, you have to think about your future and what's best for you. And 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 the biggest company in the world is the graveyard. So don't take your ideas to the graveyard. Give it out into the world. All right, you have to you have to be the best you. You have to be the best you. All right, you are thinking about it now because you're supposed to be leaping. You're supposed to be learning. You're supposed to be growing and always recreating. The reason why some of us are losing our mind, are going crazy, don't feel like we're living up to our most potential because we are not creating. You are supposed to be creating. Right now, since I said that, some of you guys are right now just going through so many new ideas. I can do this and I can do that. Oh, I can write this down because you've been thinking about it right now. And now that I'm saying it, it's just another vessel to continue to push you. All right. The most I would put people in your life to push you. And you got to know that you're being pushed right now. You're being pushed to leap. Right now, you're being pushed to learn. Right now, you're being pushed to grow some more. Right now, you're being pushed to create some more. Keep creating. Stop worrying about other people's creation. You create. You go do you. All right? This is time. Creation is the language um, of the most high. By creating, we are speaking to the most high. All right? Think about it. Even if you're a Christian. All right, you you have a religion that you slap a label on it. All right, I believe in the spirit. I believe in the most high. I believe in the universe. All right, I believe in Jah. So I believe that I'm led by the most high God. All right, for all you guys, 
that, that have read the Bible, that's read the Quran or whatever. It said, in the beginning, God made the heavens and the earth and he spoke it and there it was. He created, all right? He had thought it. He spoke it and there it was. He created in his mind first before he spoke it and then the creation was in his face. God made Adam and Eve in his image. We don't even know what the image is, but in his image, he created a human being in his image and we have not even seen his human being form. Y'all gotta think about it. We're creators of this world. We're spiritual beings having human experiences. We're spiritual beings having human experiences. So if you don't continue to watch that, that body, if you don't continue to heal that spiritual world, what you think gonna happen? You're gonna get surrounded and overwhelmed by negativity. All right, so y'all gotta keep creating. Creation is the language to the most high. All right, so you have one, humble thou self and seek grace. That is the best thing you can do in life is to seek grace, all right, because someone is waiting on you. Number two, face and forgive our inner child. It's okay. It's okay. It's all over now. You're not a child anymore. You have to continue to protect the, the generations to come, all right? So you have to heal, forgive, and revamp, all right? So face and forgive our inner child for number two. Number three, you have to be authentic, authentic to yourself. All right, the true authenticity of, of you being you. You have to be yourself unapologetically. All right, and four, believe the most cliche thing, but you have to believe in you. And no matter what you do, you have to be your biggest fan. All right, and number five. All right, number five is to align your flaws to be seen freely. Allow your flaws to be seen freely. Why? You want to allow your flaws to be seen freely so people can know that you make mistakes too? There are so many people walk around like, oh, I got it. I never made mistakes. I made $200,000 right now. I made a quarter meal today. And then tell you that they made 25000 They lost 25000 of that quarter meal. Then tell you out of that. They have been in homeless shelters back to back until they got that big break. Y'all got to stop listening to the good stuff and actually start listening to the things that they're saying. When you start to open up the world of mistakes, you start to learn from the mistakes. Again, we want to start talking about the um, academy again. And again, shout out to Trenton State Academy that's out here not only teaching others how to master themselves, but teaching you how to master yourself to master the skill of foreign exchange and how to learn markets, whether it's the forex markets or the stock market, period. Learn the skill, all right? Learn the skill and how to face it mentally, all right? The number one psychologist forex in the world. Again, the number one psychology forex in the world. So you guys go tap in and if that's something you want to do. But speaking of being an educator on that platform, a mentor, a friend, a, a, a forex psychologist in that platform, the thing that I've learned the most that I have to share my flaws. People don't even think that, oh, sometimes at first people thought that I didn't mess up. All right. And when I started showing my losses, what I thought was going to be a disaster turned out to be a blessing because people started to realize that this, this is ain't no game. You can win just as much you can lose. You have to learn the skill first. People start to see that things that they went through, I went through too. So you have to be able to share your experiences and the good, the bad, the ugly and the sad so that people can see that this is real. And if I can do it, you can do it. All right, so shout out to um, Trenton State Academy again for being the number one um, psychologist for X in the world. It's just a blessing to be a part of it. All right, and share it on to the PEG podcast. So if you guys are looking for more about that, go tap into TrentonStateAcademy.com. All right, and get all your questions and everything answered. All right, I know Forex and cryptos and Bitcoin, all that been like the booming topic, Dogecoin, XLM, all this. If you guys are interested, interested in that right now, go ahead, tap into TrentonStateAcademy.com and go ahead and get your information and questions answered. And make sure you guys, if you do again, want to tap into Trenton State Academy, there will be a boot camp held by Trenton State Academy, all right, on May 22nd. 
this Saturday, May 22nd, there will be a boot camp. You do not want to miss that boot camp. All right, you want to be a part of it. All right, it's going to be it's going to be booming. It's the battles of the market, forex versus stocks. All right, and you ask my man, the my man that got the plan when it comes to stocks, Shamari A. James. All right, Shamari J. James, um, will be in the building sharing tips and pointers in the stocks. And you definitely got your favorite soul for child Shar in the building that will be sharing so much knowledge and experience to the forex world, combining those two worlds together to show unity. So you guys. Definitely go out and um be a part of it. Excuse me, the event is free. It has door prizes. It has as door prizes, as games, trivia, and more. So look, you guys want to be able to be a part of those giveaways, prizes, and trivias. Go ahead, register today. All right, you can go on to. Excuse me, you can go find the registration on to um. My page at Sofa Shar at Instagram. And if you want to find me on Facebook, you can find me on Facebook at Shar Blue and you'll be able to register for that boot camp. So don't miss it. We'll be able to see you guys there. All right. So, number four, like I was saying, was aligning your flaws with, I mean, allowing your flaws to be seen freely. People act like they don't make mistakes. You make mistakes is how you minimize those mistakes. What you learn from the mistakes, all right? All right, it's not easy to tell people what you do. It's not easy to be in the limelight like, and, 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 and be comfortable with failing and people seeing those flaws. People see those flaws, they start to respect it. They start to see that this is not an easy thing to do, but if it's something that you want to do, you'll do it, all right? So no one is perfect. All right. How can you learn if you have never, ever, ever started? All right. How can you learn if you don't have flaws and you don't have downfalls? You got to be able to have downfalls and flaws to be to be able to learn. All right. Every day is a day to show gratitude. Show gratitude. Be humble. All right. It don't have to be you. It don't have to be you. It changed the world. That's why if you take too long, God take that blessing and give it to somebody else. It don't got to be you, but it is, is you. And it's supposed to be you. So why are you not doing what you're supposed to do? All right? It's supposed to be you. Be understanding that all your flaws is a part of you. All right? Life, beauty, and journey is everlasting. We don't get this part of life every day. You know, you hear people say, YOLO, you only live once. That's crazy. You actually live every day you wake up you only die one time we're not cats you only die one time so make every life that you get every chance at life that you get put it that way make every chance and every second in life that you get make it count because you only die once and we never know what day is our day all right so before the most high take tell us that our deeds is done and your time is up you want to be able to check off every goal that you have and you want to be unapologetically leaving a stump that Shar was here. You was here. And people wanted to know you by your legacy. All right. Not no argument that they had with you two hours ago. You want that type of impact. All right. It's supposed to be you. All right. You want to leave and learn from what does not resonate with you. You want to leave and learn from what does not resonate with you. Remove yourself from those things that does not re re uh, resonate or align yourself with you. If anything is off course, your whole life is off course, all right? If you're on one path and, and you have goals set and you let things from the past come in and take that, it's going to take you off that course for even a longer time. You need to learn your lessons that you're supposed to learn and keep pushing forward. Don't let it break you. All right. Let, let that make you to the strong person you're supposed to be. All right. So you have five ways that is going to help you face you. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw a sixth way that's going to help you. So that out of all these things that we've tried to help you face you, you can try a sixth way to face yourself. All right, that's going to be able to help you. And the reason why I didn't name it in the top one, two, three, four, five, because I wanted to drop this on you to help you um, resonate to yourself. Because some of y'all have been fake to yourself. You have to never stop adding experience with growth. The reason why you're not growing because you don't have any experience to grow on top of. 
Say it one more time. The reason why you are not growing because you don't have experience to grow on top of. You want to have experience to grow on top of it. Experience adds growth. All right. That's how we know how to succeed and try again. So you want more experience. You want to be able to grow more. All right. Fears are built. All right. Fears are built so you can never reach your dreams or passion. Fears are built so that you can never reach your dreams or passion. All right. Passion is everything. Passion is everything. And what's the devil knows that it can take your passion? What do you have? That's where people start to feel worthless. That's why people start diving back into the past, which is depression. That's why people start diving into the future, which is anxiety. Depression is when you're focused on the things that you cannot change in the past. And anxiety is focused on the things that you cannot change for to come in the future. All right, that you think is going to happen. Stop worrying about um, the future and gaining anxiety to your day. Stop worrying about the past and dragging depression throughout your day. You want to stay in the present moment. All right. So now, you know, you have six ways to help face yourself, all right, to help you stop running from yourself, to help you to go and go get those dreams and passions and everything you said that you wanted in life. But you got to stop being scared. All right. So look, man, it was a blessing to tap in with you guys. I pray that you guys were able to use those ways. And as we was going through those ways, and as we was talking about it, related with each other, connected with each other, sharing experiences with each other, you were able to see yourself in a whole different light to be able to flourish in a different way. All right. So make sure you guys go follow our official page, PG podcast on Instagram, as well as go out and get tapped in with me, man. You guys want to ask me some questions, get more plugged in me. You can also find me um, not only on the PG podcast page, but you guys can find me on my personal page at soulful shark. All right. Again, at soulful underscore shark. You can find me there. Get connected with me. All right. Listen to more artists of the week. Get connected with more um, public figures and individuals around the world that's here to inspire you guys. Get connected with the whole PG podcast family. And if you want to see some backstage or you want to get connected to how the work is being done, um, the camera work, the, the media work, all right, tap into the chief visionary operator of the PG podcast on Instagram. And the Instagram is at Natalie, N A T A L I E, Natalie T. Blue, B-L-E-A-U, and tap in with the Chief Visionary of PG Podcast. All right, look, guys, it was definitely a blessing to be able to just give this type of energy, man. We have to be able to come together, man. There's so much things in the world that's happening that's divided us, dividing us, but we have to be able to come together and continue to put positive energy in the world. No, every day is not going to be the same day. No, every day is not going to be the day that you change the world, but every day you can impact somebody in a different way. All right, every day you can make your day count. All right, because you are not alone. And just like you need motivation sometimes to push forward, well, inspiration someday to push forward, and you need to gain motivation within yourself, other people do too. So don't think you're alone. You are not alone. So tap into artists of the week. All right, so many artists are coming in to the PG podcast, sharing their journey with you. Some artists have tapped in with exclusive um, interviews with artists of the week sharing inside their vulnerability, sharing their story with you guys. So make sure you guys are tapping into Aries of the Week. And I did that just, I'm just, just getting overwhelmed by the, the, the positivity that's in the air. All right, so you don't want to miss it. New and highest artists are jumping on to the PG podcast, sharing their journey with you so you guys can continue to know that you are not alone. All right, go catch a vibe because it's a vibe. PG podcast, it's a vibe. All right, so if you ain't catch a vibe by now, look, go back and replay it because this was supposed to motivate and inspire you, continue to give you positive energy no matter what generation you in. And look, if nobody told y'all today, tomorrow, or yesterday that they love y'all, know that Shard, the PG podcast, love y'all. The whole team at the PG podcast love y'all. If y'all hate, hate us today, tomorrow, and yesterday, it don't even matter. Just know we are continuing to spread unconditional love. Continue every week, every week. Tap in with you, giving you not only hardest of the, artists of the week back to back every day, but tapping in with you, giving you some motivation and um, determination to keep pushing towards your dreams. You are the biggest important key in your life. 
you need positive energy to keep you going. So continue to share and uplift one another and continue to tap into the PEG podcast with Char, you feel me? And the utmost higher self, Mari, man. And I'm so proud of you guys. And look, it's okay to not be okay. But it's not okay to act like you're okay. We're here together. We're here together. And so many people around the world near and far is here with you. All right. So make sure you guys tap in with the PHE podcast with more energy, more fire. And make sure you're out there living to aspire. I'll see you again at the PEG podcast on our heart radio, playing on all platforms, including YouTube. Go check us out. Become part of the family. We love you. Live to aspire. Let's get it. <laughs> and let's go.